Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my... That was not English. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, what is up? My What is up? What's up, guys? My name's Brooke. I post beauty-related content weekly, so subscribe to join this little family we have built here on YouTube, plus shameless plug. I'm doing a giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers, which should hopefully be soon, so I've already started collecting for that. I'm super excited. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this makeup look right here, and if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going going to clean this mess up. I'm going to start off with my face today. For primer, I'm going to be using the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I really like this stuff because it just illuminates the skin really nicely and also helps to have your makeup stay on all day long, and who doesn't want that? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in the shade Perla. Can I just say, this has quickly become one of my favorite products. I find myself reaching for this every morning when I'm getting ready. It blends in so nicely and you can layer it, which is also what I really love about this. I'm just going to put this right here and then also just a little bit down the center of my face because why not? Honestly, I'm gonna put this all over because why not? <laughs> this stuff is just so pretty. I've just been really into looking glowy. I suffered from oily skin for a very long time and I found that over the past like two or three years, whenever winter comes, my oily skin has now broken down more into combination or dry skin. So that is allowing me to use a lot more products that I wasn't able to necessarily use a couple months ago and I have just been loving it. I used to have oily skin all year round, which was such a struggle and because of that, I do know a lot of ways on how to prolong your makeup and just make your makeup last all day long. So if you guys wanna see any of those videos, just let me know down below. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and correct with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. You guys know the drill with this. I use this in every single video and I have something to tell you. It's not gonna be changing anytime soon, okay? Your girl's not about to drop this product. It is amazing and I just literally can't do my makeup without it. Today I will be using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is such a ride or die for me. I love this foundation. I always reach back for it. Actually, I'm realizing now that I really do need to try new foundations. So if you guys know of anything, please let me know. I would like to try them out. Speaking of getting new foundations, we're struggling right now. Okay, I've managed. I have managed. I'm gonna go in and apply this with my Morphe Y6 brush today. I'm just going to buff this, tap this, and then buff this into the skin. I am so pale, although I feel like you kind of can't tell, which I mean, I'm not going to complain, but I literally feel like see-through. It's so weird because I used to be so tan as a kid. I spent so much time at the beach that I kind of just held a tan like year-round. I am like used to that when I shouldn't be because I don't hold a tan year-round because I'm never out in the sun, which in hindsight is good because it's better for your skin, but like... Okay, so now I'm going to go in with concealer. I will be using my sharp, sharp... <laughs> It's been a long week. I will be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is another one of my absolute favorites. Just because it is so full coverage and so moisturizing, it is just like, it's like a tall drink of water. <laughs> Why am I like this? I'm going to blend that in with my Morphe E8 brush. I'm just going to tap this into the skin. I'm also just bringing this onto my lid as a primer because I'm lazy, so if I can conceal prime with my concealer, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's the, that's the only reason why. So now I'm going to go in and set my under eye and my face. And for my under eye today, I'm going to be mixing banana and vanilla, which are these two shades right here from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And for my face, I will be doing a light set of my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder. So now I'm gonna go into my contour shade and I will be using Fawn by Anastasia and I'm going to buff that into my cheekbones, my temples, and my jawline, as well as my nose. I got a little bit of a <laughs> contour helmet going on. Oh Lord. So now to blend that out, I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe R2 blending brush and blur everything into the skin. 
For bronzer, I will be using my Morphe 9BZ bronzing palette, and I'm going to be mixing these two shades together right here. This one is more of a matte everyday bronzer, and this one has a bit of a shimmer to it, and they look really beautiful together, so I really like to use them together. I'm just going to be applying that using my Morphe E41 brush. This is my favorite bronzer brush because it is giant, and it just helps me put on bronzer in less time, and hey, if you can do anything in less time, that means you can probably sleep longer. That's my logic in the morning. The more I can sleep, the happier I am. I also bring my bronzer down my neck as well as all the other products I use on my face just so that everything blends together because there is nothing, nothing, there's nothing worse than having a floating face where your face and your neck don't match. We just don't need that. Nobody needs that kind of negativity in their life, so always bring your things down your neck. That sounds weird. Now I'm also going to go in and contour my nose using the same powder. This is something that I honestly frequently forget to do. However, it really does make a difference in your makeup. So if you haven't tried this, try it out. I like to go in and map out where I want the contour and then I go in and blend it together or blend it out I should say all right so now I'm gonna be going in with my Laura Mercier no color wait with my RCMA no color powder which is just in my Laura Mercier container so don't let that confuse you I'm going to be taking a beauty sponge I almost said beauty blender but this is a morphe beauty sponge and I'm going to clean up my contour and bronzer area so all I'm gonna do is dip my sponge into the powder like so and then I'm just going to go in line right under where my contour is and just clean that up by bringing it forward just like so You can also let this sit on, but I'm just gonna dust it off because who has time for baking in 2018? Let me know. <laughs> so just like that, you can see it just really cleans that line up. So I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk blush in the shade Flamingo today, and I will be applying that with a Morphe brush. All of my brushes are pretty much Morphe. And then over top of that, I will be using Mary Lou by The Balm. I have been reaching for this every single time I'm doing my highlight lately because I just love it. It is a classic. I'm going to be applying... Did you guys just see that? <laughs> so I'm going to apply that using my fan brush. Um, that just broke, but that's fine. I'll just super glue it back together. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> And I'm just going to buff this onto the high points on my face. So I'm going to put this on my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, and a bit above my brow. And I just sweep a bit right above my brow there, kind of connecting this area right here. I'm going to take this flat shader brush and just go directly down my nose. And then I'm going to put a bit on the tip of my nose as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and fill in my brows because I feel bald, honestly. I do. You guys have any recommendations for brow pencils? Let me know because I need a new one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Shadow Tempura from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to set my brow bone with that because I did just go in and conceal my brows and I just want to make sure that when I'm going in and doing my eyes that none of the shadows stick up there. I am going to go in and that's not right. <laughs> I'm going to go in and use my Morphe 3502 palette today because this, ladies and gentlemen, is just calling my name. I mean... I'm going to start off with these two shades right here in the top left hand corner as my transition shades today. I'm just mixing both of them together and taking my Morphe E27 blending brush. I'm just going to go and apply this into my transition area. So I'm going to start and put this right in the crease and then slightly angle my brush up towards my brow bone and go in and blend this into that upper crease and tr transition shade area. As I put this shadow on, I'm trying to be very delicate. That is why I am holding my brush more towards the end here so I have less 
pressure because I am guilty of being heavy handed. I know I can be very heavy handed. So this also helps if you struggle with putting on too much product at once. The farther away you hold your brush from where you're actually applying it, like if I hold it closer to the bristles, it's going to give me more pressure. Whereas if I hold it farther away, I will get less pressure. So I'm really able to blend these products out seamlessly. I'm going to be going in with this shade from the palette right here, taking my Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to buff this into my crease area again, just to add a bit of this warm pumpkin tone that I'm going for. I'm going to focus this uh, starting on the outer corner and working my way into the crease. I should zoom you guys in. What's my problem? Get it together, girl. I'm tapping this shadow down and pressing it into place and then slowly starting to move the brush back and forth because I want to have control over where this is going. Then once there's little snow product left on the brush, I'm going to bring it in just so that there's no disconnect between any part of the shadow. Now I'm going to take this shade right here from the same palette and I'm going to be putting that on a smaller brush. I will be using my Morphe E17 brush. So I'm just going to go in and tap this in the area that I want it to be in so I have control over where it's going. And then once there is little to no product left on the brush, I will go in and blend it out. And once again, using a very light hand with this and very light pressure, I am going to build this in the outer corner and the crease. And then once I have that down, I will go back in with a clean blending brush and blend everything out. And I will continue doing this until I am happy with the pigmentation. So I'm gonna go in with this orange shade in the middle of the palette right here, and I'm going to put that right in between where I have this outer corner and my inner corner. So I'm gonna be focusing that on the middle of my lid. So now what I'm going to do is take a very small amount of concealer and just go in and clean off the very beginning or the first part of my lid because I want to go in with a matte white shade but I want to make sure that it really comes out true to color. So now what I'm going to do is take this same brush that I used for the orange shadow and this is just what's left over on it. I'm just going to go in and slightly tap right where the concealer and that orange shade meet just to blend. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Tempura right here from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to put this right over top of where we just concealed. So now I'm going to go in and put some liner onto my lash line and smudge it out. I am using the Morphe eyeliner in the shade Dark Room. I love these liners because they are so creamy and so pigmented and very easy to work with. I am just going to be going in with a pencil brush to blend that out today. What I love about doing this is you can be however messy you want to be and it still doesn't matter because you're going to blend it out and so it leaves room for more error and let's be honest we're all human here so and it's great for if you're in a time crunch because it looks like you did more when you didn't. <laughs> 
but who doesn't want that, okay? I'm gonna go in and put a quick coat of mascara on, just using my Benefit Bad Gal Bang, which I have been loving lately, and I'm going to go in and put on lashes. I will be using my Wispy Lashes by Ardell, and I'm gonna do that off camera just because I always get out of frame. So to finish off this look, I'm gonna line my eyes with a white liner. This is Coconut by Morphe, and then I'm gonna go in and blend out this shade onto my lower lash line, which is one of the first shades that we used in our crease and transition area. So all I'm gonna do is put this onto my lash line and then I'm gonna blend it out with a separate brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and put a light coat of mascara on my lower lashes. I'm just gonna be using my Lancome Mansour Big Mascara for this because I can't find my Bad Gal Bang anywhere in front of me right now. This one I can't find. And then for lips today, I'm gonna go in and put some of this lip color on. This is by Sephora. It is their Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in the shade Russet. I love this color. It is one of my faves. Okay, so this completes today's makeup look. I hope that you guys like this. This is right up my alley because we all know how much I love warm tones. I wanted to create an all matte look for you guys because I have been gravitating towards those more in my everyday makeup routine and I think they can be very complimentary on the eye. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Also, feel free to leave a comment on what video you want to see me film next and don't forget to follow me on social media. I will have all of that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next next time. Bye guys! For concealer today, <laughs> I don't know, wait, I don't know what I want to use. I've, I'll be back. Do you want to like color? Get together. <laughs> I can't speak today. This is going to be fun to edit. <laughs> for kit and contour, so I would highly suggest, and I've been using honest, whoa. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to set my brown with the same pencil, the same pencil. Yes, queen. Okay. This smells so good. Brows with... Oh my goodness. It was not necessarily... It's gonna be a struggle getting through this video. Okay. I am going to bluff bluff.